All right, let's move on to the question number seven here. Okay, uh, so question number seven reads, find the area of the region bounded by the graphs of the equation y equals x minus x squared plus 2x and y equals to zero, okay? Um, so this is a classical integral question, which asks us to find the area of the region bounded by two graphs, okay? Uh, so to do this, of course, you have to calculate the integral of a function, uh, but you have to figure out the bounds first, okay? So it's always very helpful to graph our functions first, or our, our, yeah, our, our equation. Uh, in the future, however, if you're very confident, you can just find the points of intersection and you'll be good. Uh, but here we're going to graph it first, okay? So, all right, so let's say that is the x-axis and the y-axis. So our first function is just the, 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 the x-axis, which is y equals to zero. Um, and our second equation is the parabola negative x squared plus 2x, okay? Uh, so the zeros for this are 0 and 2, okay? So we have something like this. Okay, and this equals to y equals negative x squared plus 2x. We know it's pointing downwards because um, the a coefficient is negative, and the zeros, I just looked at their graph here, but you can find the zeros by factoring this. Uh, so this is zero and this is two, okay? Zero and two, and that's the vertex, okay? So they're asking us to find the area of the region enclosed by these two graphs, which is this. So we need to find the integral of this. Okay. Um, so the integral of this would be the area under the curve of y equals negative x squared plus 2x enclosed by the uh, axis x-axis, okay? And the points that we're looking for here are the points of intersection between the x-axis and the parabola, parabola, which are two and zero. So those are our bounds. So basically, we're finding the area under the curve between x equals zero and x equals two, okay? So we have found our integral, and we need to set that up now, right? So the area under the curve would equal to, so let's say area equals to the integral of the bounds two and zero of the function negative x squared plus two x d of x, okay? So we need to find this integral. All right, so using the laws and the properties that we found, used last time in the question, uh, we're gonna integrate them using the difference uh, rule, which suggests that we can break these up. Oh, this is not different, this is the addition, sorry. Uh, 2x dx. Uh, we're gonna use our power rule here, which is t zero, negative one over three x cubed. Uh, this should just be this. Uh, plus, uh, this is also the power rule, but since we have a two down here, it's very convenient for us. It's just x squared, two and zero, okay? And now we're gonna calculate the area of these two, which is, negative eight over three minus zero plus four, which equals to, which equals to negative eight plus 12 over three, and we get four over three, and that's the area under the curve, four over three. Therefore, the area enclosed by negative x squared plus 2x and uh, y equals 0 is 4 over 3. Okay? Cool. All right. So whenever you're calculating any kind of area enclosed by the curve. This is a very simple example, but 
sometimes you'll have a line and a parabola, sometimes you'll have a cubic function, sometimes you'll have two circles. Uh, always try to find the point of intersection, and by finding that, you will find your bounds in which you need to integrate for. Um, in this case, we found the point of intersection between this parabola and the x-axis, or it's just as zeros. We use those as its bounds, and we calculate the definite integral across those two in that, that interval. Okay, so this solution is correct. Okay. Uh, I should have one more question. But I guess I'll leave this question for next time, I guess. <laughs> um, so that concludes today's session. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any other problems with your calculus homework or your tests or anything with integrals, uh, please submit them through one class. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day today. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.